Thanks for meeting me at the shelter. Today's topic is a Mountain Man MRE. Got all kinds of good stuff in here. Hi guys. Welcome to the Doug Shoe Bushcraft Channel. Okay guys, it's snowing. I could go inside my little shelter to record, but it's dark. I'd rather just do it out here in the light snow. It just is what it is. I'll show you what I have in my pack today for a Mountain Man MRE. First thing is jerky. It's about a hundred calories an ounce. I got around four ounces there. It's good stuff. And the good thing about that, it's high in protein, it's high in fat. So traditionally, that's a good thing to eat right before bedtime because proteins and fats, as they digest, they keep you warm. They digest more slowly than starches, sugars, and the traditional belief anyway is that they throw off more heat. So it's a lot of us do. So proteins and fats, along those same lines, I'll show you another thing. Here we have nuts, I have a cup of peanuts, a cup of almonds. In the United States, I think uh, peanuts will give you the biggest bang for your buck. They're the cheapest, in other words. And nuts vary, but you now in general, you get 160 calories uh, for a quarter cup. So I have two cups of nuts there. That's right around 1,300 calories. And they're really, really high in fat, higher than the jerky. It's mostly fat, I believe. Just a little bit of protein. So here's the thing you should know about fat. When it digests fat, it gives you nine calories a gram. Protein, starches, sugars, give you four calories a gram. So as far as weight on the trail, fat is what you want to have. You got more, for each gram, you got more than double the calories. You have nine calories instead of four. So just those two little handfuls of nuts 1,300 calories. Lasts a long time without refrigeration or anything like that. Good idea, in my opinion, for a mountain man MRI. Okay, what else we got? Here we have some cheese. 110 calories an ounce. Got five ounces there. I cut it very approximately into one ounce servings. Just for a visual, you can get an idea how many calories you get, what sort of size. So 110 calories an ounce, 550 calories. I'm just going to round it down to 500. Then we have this weird thing. What is that? It's strange. Do you know? It's a block of unrefined cane sugar. Got it at an Indian grocery store. They call it a jaggedy slab. Jaggery slab. Unrefined cane sugar. It was a pound. Been using it. So a little bit less than that now. But it's 110 calories an ounce. And that, that's all sugar. So obviously I'm not just gonna pound that all in. But a little bit here, a little bit there, add it to things, flavor things, make drinks out of it, make some tea out of uh, wintergreen leaves or pine needles, whatever I do, add a tiny bit, you know. But it also has calories, so 110 calories an ounce. Uh, that that you see right there is around 2,000 calories. The last thing I want to talk about is dried fruit. Again, in America, I would say the biggest bang for your buck is raisins, as far as dried fruit goes, but there's near endless uh, dried
dried fruit, uh, apples, apricots, goes on and on. My raisins have around 120 calories for a quarter cup. Got about a cup there, 500 calories. So everything you see, we got 4,700 calories right around there. And that's not bad. That'll keep me going. You know, I come out here walking, don't have a vehicle, so I get here by my muscles burning energy. It's just a fact. So to get back, I need the same sort of thing. Uh, a long time without eating, and my body is going to be breaking down my fat to survive. After the fat's used up, basically, then uh, my body's going to start breaking down its own muscle tissue just to survive. And that's not a <laughs> pleasant experience, and you can only do that for so long. Also, I grew up in this cold climate, so I can tell you that your body uses energy to stay warm. If you have a lot of insulation layers or you buy a nice cozy fire, that's one thing. But if your body temperature starts to drop, uh, your body has to do something quick or you will die. So it does things like make you shiver and, and there's other processes. But here's the thing, being out in the cold weather burns a lot of calories. And you're only bringing uh, so many calories with you in your fat reserves and in your own muscle that your body can employ uh, in an emergency. So the idea of bringing some calories with you is a very good idea. So look, I have this in a standard size bandana, right? Just to give you an idea of the size. So having that with you, or not having that, could be the difference between life and death. So go out there guys and have fun. I'm asking you to also be safe. Take the time to learn the skills that you need. And one of those things, believe it or not, is learning how to eat and uh, learning what to bring with you. So I thank you for joining me guys. I hope you enjoyed this Mountain Man's MRE as I'm calling it. If you have any other suggestions, or there's many, many things, other things, that we could have gone into, but if you're thinking of one right now, please put it in the comments. And I'll be back as soon as I can. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Matthew 25, 23.